Hey guys, it's Patricia. Next destination we're heading to is Hua Hin. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I totally forgot to film a introduction for this video. Kind of been very busy and trying to enjoy the moments here, but Hua Hin is, I would say, central of Thailand. A lot of retirees and expats also locals live in this area they have a beach small little town and is a nice chill spot to be in thailand hey guys i don't know if you can hear me very well but i am in hua hin on hua hin beach here and it is very hot not a lot of people know uh, hua hin it's about three hours from bangkok going south and it's a little quiet area, less chaotic than Bangkok, of course. A lot of people like to come here to holiday or vacation. They have a little beach club here, right on the beach with a pool, resort pretty much, nice cafe here. I find Hua Hin to be kind of a chill spot to be, but with things available to you. The only downside is how to get here is take transit um, from Bangkok to here. They do have a small airport, but it only goes to Chiang Mai and back, and they have very limited flights. My bus ride from Bangkok to Hua Hin was 200 baht, which would be around $8 Canadian, and also it took around four hours to get there. They do make stops and drop-offs on the way when you are taking the bus. So keep that in mind when you do come to visit Thailand that the times that they give you is an estimated time. Usually they run about 30 minutes to around one hour from the time that they tell you. There are lots of monkeys in the areas when you do visit Thailand. You need to be careful of them because they like to take your belongings and they can also bite you. So just warning you about that. They might look cute and all of that, but just be careful. Now this local is trying to get them to go away. This is what they kind of do. They do slingshots onto areas close to them so that they run away. They do have lots of temples throughout the country. When visiting temples, they ask that you have your knees and shoulders covered while attending them, just for some respect. So here at the Hua Hin Market Village, they have about four or five floors. Also, they have a bus station here as well, so you can take the bus from the Market Village here to your next destination. This is also Hua Hin's night market. As you can see, there's a huge stage with entertainment, lots and lots of vendors and places to sit and eat. That finalizes my trip in Hua Hin. I took a bus from Hua Hin to Bangkok and then a flight to Krabi. This is my first meal of the day. Krabi is south of Thailand. It's basically a port, we'll say, to get to different islands. And uh, it's an island in itself. Very humid here compared to, I would say, northern part of Thailand. Okay guys, this is the room that I got with the bungalow. Please don't mind my stuff. Got a king-size bed. I actually put double bed on the booking, but they gave me a king-size bed. 
some creepy pictures over here. I don't know. Um, some area for your luggage and stuff. This is the bathroom. Got the shower here, toilet, mirror, and all my stuff. But yeah, it's not too bad inside. Good for two people. So this is the outside of the bungalow. To be honest, I did not know that I booked a whole bungalow. They do have other room options available, but I guess I booked this one. I did a flight and hotel deal through Agoda, and this is what I got. So nice views, beautiful resort. This is the pool area and I would say common area. A lot of people hang out around here by the pool and they are on their laptops over on the other section there. This resort has lots of trees and lots of nature. It's honestly so beautiful. So this is Aonang Beach in the morning. As you can see, there is some long tail boats there from people coming from different islands to Aonang. Throughout the day, you can take the long tail boats out to different beaches and to different destinations as well. There's usually a ticket office close by. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've talked to you. Been traveling a lot and super tired and you know, when, you get, when you're traveling, you don't feel well. So that's what's been going on with me. But I am here in Krabi uh, in Onang area. So I got here last night and it's been pretty hectic, I guess. I only booked a hotel for one night and then I have to move to another hotel today. So I'll give you guys another room tour of that. Hope you're enjoying. Currently just kind of waiting on the sunrise. It's sort of up from my knowledge, <laughs> but not fully up. And yeah, I woke up super early to catch this. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate it so much, you guys. You have no idea. It's been a long journey for me, so I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. This is the new room here, got your TV, nice balcony up here, bed, and you got your washroom. So this is Aonang Beach once again, more long tail boats on the beach here. There is another beach close by near my hotel. My hotel is about a 10 to 15 minute walk to this beach and to the other beach going the opposite direction than this beach. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of the beach. It's about 10 minutes as well. Raleigh Beach is also very close by as well. Guys, the older I get, the scarier the ocean is getting. The scarier the ocean is for me. Um, you always see those horror stories where there's like sharks on the land or pretty much close to shore or even just like jellyfish hanging out by the shore so i don't like to go into the water very much like i like to go in but like with my feet in and maybe like my waist but like nothing too deep into the water just because it's it's scary you never know what's going on but yeah i thought i'd just share that with you guys i don't know if it's just me or if anyone else feels the same
to end off that beach trip, I ended up getting some rolled ice cream. They make it right in front of you and you get to pick what flavor and what toppings you want inside of the ice cream. The cost was 80 baht, which is around $3.15 Canadian. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my video here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.